Hello everyone, my name is Javian and today... Today I'm going to be playing some more Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. This time I'm going to be comparing the PS4 version and the Vita version of the game. Even though they are both exactly the same game and you're going to have the same experience on both, there are going to be a few differences between the two of them. And I will be going over what you should expect from each version of the game. I will mention that all the gameplay taken from this video is going to be from the latest patch, which is 1.03 unless I mention otherwise. And it's also going to be taken from the latest system software update for the PS Vita and the PS4. Well, the Vita gameplay is going to be taken from the PS TV, but performance wise, the PS TV and the Vita version run exactly the same. I've seen it on both the TV and I've seen it on the PS Vita handheld. They're both exactly the same. The only difference is going to be that the colors and the sharpness are gonna look much better on the handheld, but everything else is gonna be the same between the PSTV and the Vita version. But the first thing I am gonna start off with is the towns. On the PS4 version, the towns seem to run at 30 FPS. The reason why I say seems, because I'm not 100% sure because I can't actually test it or prove it myself, but the game does seem to perform and run a lot smoother when you're outside of towns in the field. So I'm assuming there is some kind of cap when you're in town. Maybe this cap's there because there are multiple NPCs walking around and they ended up capping it to keep it consistent. But when you are out in the field, the game does run at 60 FPS and it is much smoother. And you will actually notice it if you're running around in town and then go out into the field. When it comes to how the PS4 version performs inside of towns, it runs really well. All of the NPCs that you would expect to see within the area are, are there for you to see and they do load very far into the distance. You don't actually have to worry about trying to find NPCs or things popping in. The PS4 version, the towns do actually seem to have a bit of life in them and you've got NPCs going about their daily business. When it comes to the towns in the Vita version, the game does run really well. You will notice some popping with the NPCs when you first enter the area. Some of them can take a while to load, but it shouldn't be a major problem because any of the NPCs that are required for quests, you can still target them and you can still talk to them even when their character model hasn't loaded. And once the NPCs have loaded, it doesn't seem to be a problem that reoccurs until you have left the area and come back again. For some people, it could be a bit jarring seeing the NPCs take forever to load when you want to speak to them. The town does look pretty nice in both versions of the game. I mean, the PS4 version is obviously going to look better, but the Vita version does do a good job of making the town look pretty nice for what it is. I did mention previously that the game does run a lot smoother when you're outside in the fields on the PS4, but it seems to be a bit of a flip for the Vita version. With the Vita version, the game seems to run better when you're in towns and seems to run a little bit worse when you're out in the fields. When you're in the fields on the PS4 version, it does seem to run at 60 FPS and it does seem to be pretty consistent. There were a few times where the frame rate would dip and you'll kind of notice it, but it seemed to dip for like one second and go back to normal. But when it comes to being out in the field where you're going to be spending most of your time doing quests and fighting enemies, the game does perform at its best. And that's for the PS4 version. Now with the Vita version, things are a little more inconsistent and less reliable. After the stability update, the game does run much better than it did previously, but it is still pretty inconsistent when it comes to the frame drops. You're going to notice this more when there are other party members near you, but for the most part, when you're just running around, it doesn't seem to be too bad. You will notice that some enemies and sometimes the background will pop in the distance. Having the background pop in isn't too much of an issue, but it can be a little bit of an issue when it's enemies that you can't really track. But sometimes there'll be an event fragment, which are the random missions that can happen out in the world. And you'll need to kill a certain amount of enemies within that event fragment. Sometimes, because of the popping, you won't be able to actually see the enemies you need to kill. You'll kill a few of them, but when it comes to like the remaining two or three, sometimes they'll be out of the viewing range and you can't actually see where they are. So there's a chance you'll spend a lot of time just running around and that just ends up wasting time. It would have been nice if they just loaded all the enemies that you kind of needed to kill within a particular area or within the area of the event fragment and kind of just prioritize them. But it does seem like when it comes down to the last few that you need to kill, you just won't find them until you run around in circles. It can get annoying. That's not an issue you'll run into on the PS4 version, but with the Vita version, because of the popping and because of the low view distance, you will notice it. And you will notice that the environments are going to be much emptier on the Vita version. With the PS4 version, you're going to notice there's going to be a lot more trees. There's going to be a lot more things in the environment, a lot more plants, a lot more enemies on display on the screen. But with the Vita version, things do look a lot flatter, a lot less detailed. But for the most part, all the relevant things you'll need to actually play the game are actually on display. Now, that's not going to be the only difference between the PS4 and the Vita version. With the PS4 version, you can have up to two main palette bars displayed on the screen at one time. But on the Vita version, you're only going to have one. Now, at first, this isn't going to be something that's going to be too much of a problem. But having two on display all the time is much more convenient than only having one because it gives you the ability to access things much more quickly. But if you're someone that is just playing on the Vita version, and that's the only version you're going to play, 
you'll probably just make do with the one bar that you have. But there are some people that probably wish they had more. Now, when it comes to the buttons or the inputs, when you're using the handheld version of the PS Vita, you will have to use some touchscreen commands to actually access a few things, like saying good job to your party members or locking onto certain targets. But with that being said, if you are playing on the PS TV, the controls seem to mimic the PS4 version. And when it comes to the combat and the frame rate, the PS4 version is totally fine. Everything runs smoothly and being able to link your sword skills together using the sword skill connect system is pretty simple. You can the time you can get the timing down really easily. But when it comes to the Vita version, because the frame rate can be pretty inconsistent, you'll find that there are times where you'll know the timing you'll need to get the combo right but the combo won't activate or drop because having too many other parties around you and seem to make the frame rate tank a bit. That was the main issue with the Vita version. As soon as there were too many things on display on the screen, it would almost feel like the input delay was increased and your timing will be totally thrown off. And in the worst cases, it will make the game totally slow down. But I guess with the Vita version, there is going to be a case of the game not being able to like perform properly and allow you to do what you actually need to do in fights. And I can see that getting a bit frustrating for people. With people that are playing on the Vita version, they may grow to live with it if they haven't experienced what like on the PS4 version. They'll be I'm pretty sure they may end up being fine with some of the timings of some of the attacks. But if you've gone from if you go between the PS4 and the PS Vita version, you'll notice the difference straight away. But that being said, even if you are on the Vita version, you've only played the Vita version there, there will be times where the frame rate will drop and it will kind of throw you off so hopefully with more updates the vita version will continue to perform even better and better but right now there is still a little bit of work that needs to be done but with that being said the game does run much more stable now I know this comparison seems like me talking about the Vita version much more than the PS4 version, but that's simply because the PS4 version runs totally fine. The Vita version does seem to be the platform that has the most concern for it. And I guess one of the things that was the major concern was the raids. Now with the raids, you're going to be fighting large enemies and you're going to have multiple parties within the same enclosed space. With the Vita version, it did lead to loads of slowdown. It, the game was near unplayable. But now that they've actually released a stability update, I'll say that the game is now stable enough to be playable, but still does need a lot of work. Before the stability update, I'd say that the raids ran at probably like 5 to 10 FPS. But with this update, it has made things a lot smoother. It's playable, but like I said before, it does need a little bit of work. So I'm going to show you. I'll show you what the game looked like before the stability update. And I'll show you what the raids look like after the stability update. And you'll kind of see where I'm coming from. Now in terms of the raids, the PS4 version is totally fine. That's nothing to worry about. But the Vita version of the game does still need quite a few improvements. I mean, right now it's in a playable state. People that get the game are going to be able to play it. They'll be able to finish it. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to do all the content. But it's not going to give them the best experience for the game. So I would say if you have the choice and portability is not a huge factor for you, the PS4 version is going to be the best choice for you. But if you have no choice between the Vita and the PS4 and you only have a Vita, and portability is a huge factor for you, then I would say just know what you're buying into. The game's not stable, the frame rate can be pretty inconsistent, but it is still playable and it does seem like they are improving it. My main fear at the moment is what's going to happen with the patches they release in the future. Because one of the next patches is going to be a tower defense type dungeon mission. And I want to see how the game performs in a tight enclosed space on the Vita, with waves of enemies and other NPCs on the screen. I want to see how the Vita version handles that. But with that being said, I will let you know. For those of you that were wondering, the Vita version of the game, from what I can remember, is 2.8 gigabytes from the Japanese version and 18 gigabytes on the PS4 version. So if you are getting a digital version, then keep that in mind. But if you are getting physical, you probably don't need to worry about that. And as usual, if there are any other changes or anything I need to let you guys know about, I will be making another video. If you want to get updates to things a lot quicker than when I would be able to get a video up, then I suggest you follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you do want to see some live streams or be able to watch me play live and ask me questions directly, then I suggest you follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description for all of those. I will be making some more videos very soon. But until I make those videos, I'll see you all later.